is Keely from Soy and Chain. Thank you for joining me. This week I'm making a loaf of soap using Bubble Luscious from Aroma. It has notes of strawberry, orange, coconut and clove and is on a base of sweet vanilla and sugar cane. Now Bubble Luscious only has a vanillin content of 0.55% and I have soaked with it before and a bit of white titanium dioxide is enough to keep that browning at bay. So I will be making this soap in a white base and then I'm going to do a drop swirl of some colours and we have some Tuscan Sun, I have some bubble gum and I have some Tutti Frutti, all of which have come from my microbe session. And into my titanium dioxide I'm also going to add a little bit of the Blizzard Synthetic Mica just to get a little bit of shine in it as well. And once we've got the base made, we'll come back and we will do a piped top on this one. So let's go get started. So as usual, I have my oils in my bucket here and I've got them at a temperature of about 28 degrees. And I have my lye water, which I've melted some tussar silk into. I'm going to pour my lye water down the stick blender into my oils and then I'm going to mix up and then split out for those colours. Nicely mixed in and it's looking good it's nice and fluid at the moment so we'll start pouring now oh, I can see my white is now setting up as I've said that it's stayed nice and fluid so just give it a bit of a stir just to loosen it back up again and we will start getting this into the mold nice and quick This has thickened up and I'm obviously not going to get a very nice drop swirl. I'll put the hanger through it and then I'll finish scraping out those buckets and then come back and do the top. pots all scraped down I've given this a real good whack down on the bench because it has thickened up quite a bit so I just want to get all of those air bubbles out but for now I'm just going to pop this to one side and I'm going to go and get the um, piping ready see I have started piping this. This is um, set up quite hard quite quickly. 
Um, I think next time I use this fragrance oil, and yes, I will have to do this one again, um, I will add more water into the soap batter because that should hopefully keep it fluid for that little bit longer. Now, you'll notice I am perping a little bit funny. I have all my mix in my bag, but I'm only keeping a little bit down here and I push the rest up there. And that's because I have very, very sore hands. Um, every winter, they get really sore across all the joints. And doing something like this just really makes them very painful. So I don't have the um, strength in my hands to pipe all of the the mix if I was holding my bag normally especially when it's this thick but that's okay I'm enjoying what I do so I just grin and bear it <laughs> now with this fragrance oil obviously it is a misbehavior and I just said that I will be making this one again and that is because my customers seem to really like the bubble gum smells and to be honest this is the one smell in my whole range of stuff that I absolutely detest with a passion and dread whenever anyone asks me to make anything in bubble gum, whether it be in um, candles, reed diffusers, melts, soaps, anything. I hate, hate, hate this fragrance. Not because it is a, a misbehaving fragrance. It reminds me of when you used to get the little gum balls and you used to bite into them and all that juice used to hit the back of your throat and then you'd spend the next half an hour choking on that gum ball. And that is what this fragrance does to me. Every time I smell it, I feel that absolute choking sensation of having bitten down into a juicy little gum ball. So I, it's just one of those fragrances. I don't know. I hate it. Everybody loves it. So I keep making it. So I know I have quite a few people following me on here who also make soaps and candles, etc. What is the one fragrance that you guys have that your customers love and you absolutely detest making? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're a customer or if you just like buying people's bath and body products, etc. Let me know what fragrances you don't like that everyone seems to make as well. So I am almost finished with putting these on and I'm going to pretty it up with some melt and pour in bed soap gum balls. So I'll just grab those here and I have coloured them in exactly the same as what we put into the soap base. Oops. That's better. Okay, so we have the Tutti Frutti, I have the bubble gum and the Tuscan Sun and I'm just going to add one of these onto every single bar of soap. The gumballs on there and I have some Dior glitter from um, my micro obsession and I'm just going to spritz that all down the sides just to add a little bit of gold bling onto it and there we have it there is bubble luscious and I will come back tomorrow and cut this and let you see what's on the inside hey everyone I am back to cut bubble luscious and I have got a few air bubbles down the side or little air pockets hopefully it won't be too bad once we get inside but because of how thick that did set up on me I'm expecting there'll probably be a couple so we'll get this one lined up on the multi bar cutter and down we go so I'd like to say this one is smelling really good it is very strong and I'm sure that if bubble gum is your cup of tea, you'll really, really like this one. It is very, very strong in fragrance. So I suppose in that term, it does smell great that it stayed during its cure process. But I am just not a fan of this fragrance at all. So we've got that all cut through. 
And that's a really pretty swirl and only some tiny little air bubbles in there which aren't really too noticeable so that's okay. Oh wow and that one's another really pretty one you can see how that hanger has really swirled those colours together so I am very pleased that that has come up with such beautiful swirls considering how thick that got as I was making it. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me make Bubble Luscious and if you have why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below if you haven't already why not subscribe to the channel I really do appreciate all of my subscribers and I will bring you another video next week so until then have a great one